Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the Booktuber Bible Tag, um, which is great for this month of Easter. I was tagged by Mrs. Thomas. So thank you so much, Mrs. Thomas, for this. Um, I really like this tag. It's a great one. And I'm excited to answer all these questions. Uh, so I'm gonna leave Mrs. Thomas link down below. So please check out her channel. She is just the sweetest and funniest lady. She cracks me up sometimes. Anyway, um, the first question is, what is your favorite book of the Bible? I have many for this answer, but I have managed to narrow it down to two, and that is the book of John. I picked John over the other Gospels because he was the closest to Jesus, so I just, I don't know, I really appreciate his account of things. Um, so yeah, I picked John, and I also pick Ephesians because for me, being a newer Christian who did not grow up um, you know, going to church or anything like that. I didn't grow up around Christians. Ephesians did a lot to teach me what does it look like to live as a Christian in your everyday life? What kind of things, you know, should I be doing, saying, thinking, all of that sort of thing. Um, it was like an instruction guide for me and I found that really helpful. So I'm going with those two. Uh, the next one is, what is your favorite Bible story? And mine is actually the same as Mrs. Thomas's. <laughs> I love Daniel, the whole book of Daniel I love, uh, but I especially love the story with um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> and um, it was just funny hearing her talk about it because I'm like, yeah, exactly that. So yeah, I just found their faith to be outstanding and their obedience to God. You know, they weren't willing to bow down and worship these idols, other lowercase gods, and they were willing to die for their God, our God, and um, God saved them for their faith. And yeah, I just think that is an amazing story. So inspirational. I love Daniel. Um, the next one is, who is your favorite person in the Bible? And again, I have many, but I think I'm going to go with Joseph for this one. Um, I really struggle myself with forgiveness. I can hold a grudge forever. <laughs> and reading about Joseph's, Joseph's forgiveness of his brothers just blows my mind. I can remember kind of yelling at Joseph the first time I read through that story. I was gobsmacked at how forgiving he was after what his brothers had done to him. And, but after sitting in it for a while and understanding, you know, how we go against God all the time, and yet he is constantly forgiving us. Joseph, again, is a learning moment for me, and I try to remember Joseph when I'm holding a grudge. So, yeah, I think I'm going to say he's my favorite. It probably changes depending on how I'm feeling or what I need at the time. I probably relate to different people more, so my favorite person probably changes all the time. Number four is, what is your favorite verse? And that is Psalm 118.24, and that is, uh, today is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, and I picked this one based off of my mom. Um, I made a video all about my mom a while ago, but basically she lived a very tortured life. And after she died, I found her Bible. And in her Bible, she had a note card where she wrote the word rejoice on the card. And it brought me so much comfort to know that even with everything she was going through, all the suffering she was going through, she focused on rejoicing because she knew her salvation was in the Lord. So I try to keep that in the front of my mind whenever I'm going through anything. Um, every day is a day the Lord has made. He is in charge. He has got this. He has got me. I am in his hands and I can rejoice over that. Um, number five is what is your favorite translation? I'm going to say the uh, new King James version only really because that's the first one that I read all the way through. And so I guess I feel most comfortable with that one. I have gone through that one again and it just feels like going home, I guess, if that makes sense. I guess anytime you read the Bible, you are going home, but that translation and the words specifically that it uses, I just remember those words. Um, 
Um, but I've read others and I like them, but I think that's my favorite. What is your favorite hymn, chorus, song, singer, and band? Um, for this one, my favorite songs, I have two favorite songs. One is In Christ Alone, and I really love the version that Steph McLeod does. He is Irish or Scottish? I'm not really sure, but he has a version with like bagpipes and it's Celtic. Um, it's beautiful. I will find that video and I will leave it linked down below. Makes me cry every time I hear it. Um, and my other favorite is My Sacrifice by the band Creed. Um, I It's up in the air whether Creed is a Christian band or not, but that song specifically Again, makes me cry every time I hear it. I literally can get teary-eyed thinking about it, <laughs> thinking about that song. Um, it's a beautiful song. So yeah, those are my favorites. I don't have a favorite hymn or chorus. I'm not really sure what that is. Cause again, I didn't grow up going to um, church. So maybe I should try to listen to some hymns. Um, actually, if you have a favorite, leave it down below for me. Cause I wouldn't even know where to start. Number seven is, what is your favorite Christian movie? I am going with Jesus Revolution that came out last year, I think last year. And I'm saying that because not only it was an excellent movie, I cried multiple times through that movie and I related to a lot of things that were in that movie, um, but I haven't seen that much. I haven't watched that many Christian movies. So there may be ones out there that are better, but I don't know, but I loved that movie. Um, number eight, who is your favorite speaker slash preacher? I'm going with Paul Washer because he does not sugarcoat anything. <sighs> He's tough. He is really tough. And every time I listen to him, I'm just like, oh, man, I have got to change so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really appreciate that he does not sugarcoat anything. Um, that's what I need. I don't want, you know, like bubblegum kind of preaching. So yeah. I think he's my favorite. And then my favorite sermon, which is again, great for this time of year. And I will find that and leave that one linked down below, but it's a sermon and I'm, I'm not sure who gives the short, the sermon. I don't remember his name, but the sermon is called it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. I listened to that multiple times right before Easter sob through it. Every time you've got to hear it. If you haven't heard it, amazing. Um, number nine, who is your favorite fiction and nonfiction authors? Again, so hard, <laughs> but I'm just going to say Tessa Afshar for my favorite fiction. She writes biblical fiction. Amazing. And my favorite nonfiction author, I'm going to say A.W. Tozer. Again, he does not sugarcoat anything. He is a very serious man. <laughs> <laughs> um, he does not let us get away with anything. So I really appreciate that. Um, the next one is favorite nonfiction and fiction books. My favorite nonfiction book would be Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. And my favorite fiction book, I mean, there's probably a hundred that I would put on this list, but I'm going to narrow it down to Safely Home by Randy Alcorn because that book destroyed me. <laughs> that book ripped my heart out. But there was so much glorious faith in that book. And it made me just think, I've read that book maybe two years ago now, and I am still like thinking about that book. Um, it wrecked me. I think those are all the questions. Uh, she also had to tag people but I saw she tagged a bunch of people and I'm not sure who hasn't been tagged, but I hope everyone in the Christian book community does this because this is very fun and I would love to hear everybody's answers for these questions. They're great questions. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna do it, please do it. And thanks again to Mrs. Thomas. Please check my um, things I have linked down below and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.